take you back to last year. It began with a virtual lockdown, social distancing, and no vaccine in sight. But today, Governor Larry Hogan announced he's prepared to end our state of emergency brought on by the pandemic here in Maryland. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on that story for us tonight. The governor has announced all of the state's COVID-19 restrictions will be lifted on July 1st, but he stopped short of saying the threat posed by coronavirus and its variants is over. A year, three months, and 10 days after declaring a state of emergency to halt the spread of the coronavirus, Governor Larry Hogan announced the state is prepared to return to normal. Today I am announcing the end of the COVID-19 state of emergency in Maryland. On Thursday, July 1st, any and all emergency restrictions and mandates of any kind will end. Masks or face coverings will not be required in any settings anywhere, including schools, camps, and child care facilities. While lifting the restrictions is an important step, the governor isn't declaring victory over the virus just yet. Hogan is encouraging people who have not been vaccinated to do so. And he's hopeful the state now is prepared for whatever may lie ahead later this year. All of the infrastructure that we've built up with pharmacies, with uh, local providers, local health departments, um, hospitals and others will absolutely serve not only for boosters, but also for our flu vaccine campaign, which is planned for the fall. The governor also announced beginning July 1st, there will be a 45 day moratorium, a grace period, if you like, for people who need to get their driver's license renewed that are outdated and also to prevent evictions for those people who have not been able to make their rent. Reporting at the State House in Annapolis, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.